The Bengals were back at practice on Wednesday ahead of Sunday's huge primetime matchup against the Buffalo Bills. Let's get the latest on the tight end room, Charlie Jones, other injury updates, and more right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. Hi again, everyone, and welcome in to CBT. I'm James Rapine of AllBengals.com. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and buckle up because we're going to have you covered all week long leading into Sunday night football. It's Bengals, it's Bills, it's a playoff rematch. Two teams that, well, are hoping to be at the top of the AFC when it's all said and done. We'll see if the Bengals can handle business against the Bills again. Obviously, this is a playoff rematch, and let's get to the latest. On Wednesday morning, the Bengals did something that we talked about on Tuesday after the trade deadline. They signed Tanner Hudson to the 53-man roster, and it makes a ton of sense for them to do so for a bunch of reasons, the first of which the tight end production hasn't been there. Hudson has appeared in two games this year. He was elevated from the practice squad, had four catches for 48 yards, appears to have a good rapport with Joe Burrow, and so in hopes of getting more out of more production out of that tight end room, you bring up Hudson, and now he's on the 53-man roster. Um, and, and not only do I expect him to be active on Sunday night, I think he could be their primary option at tight end in the passing game. We'll see how it shakes out. Irv Smith Jr. still on the roster, as is Mitch Wilcox, as is Drew Sample. So will one of these tight ends be inactive? Who will it be? I, I think that is going to be an interesting dilemma discussion going into Sunday. Part of that depends on health. Trey Hendrickson, while he wasn't on the practice field when we were out there today, I, I think that there's optimism that he can go this week. This Bengals coaching staff and certainly the medical team, they want to take it as easy on Hendrickson as possible so he can ramp up and be good to go for Sunday. So wasn't on the practice field. We will uh, share uh, official updates throughout the week on allbengals.com so you can check it out there. But I, I do expect him to play on Sunday, but we'll see. You never know for sure injury-wise. Tyson Anderson didn't practice as well on Wednesday. Um, we'll see on him. Charlie Jones, someone that I think there was a lot of optimism about him returning and being back this week. He's eligible to come off of injured reserve. He's missed the past four games with a broken thumb, had surgery on it. Things are progressing well. The Bengals opted to give him another week. So he will not return this week. They're not opening up his 21-day window. Could do it next week. And I, I, I don't know if there's a 21-day window situation. I think this is more of a once they activate him, they'll play him and they'll put him in games to punt return and, and do all of those things. So he can work on his conditioning. He can catch footballs right now, even though he's on injured reserve. Obviously can't participate in practice, but we'll see if he can come back next week. Overall, though, I think that this team, they're in a, a good place uh, health-wise. I, I think Joe Burrow continues to look like the Joe that you expect, and that's exactly what you need Going into a game like this, uh, a primetime game, a game where the Bills are certainly going to be coming in hungry, probably frustrated, the guys that were on that roster last year, because they got embarrassed at home, 27-10, to 10, in a game that really wasn't even that close in the divisional round of the playoffs against these Bengals. And so there's a lot on the line for sure. The Bengals trying to win four straight games. And I think it's going to be uh, interesting to see how this offense, if it it changes at all with Tanner Hudson versus Irv Smith Jr. and how they split that up because they're they're similar players. And, and that's what's interesting about the adjustments. And I mentioned this yesterday on the trade deadline video. You can just go with four receivers and not play a tight end and, and go 10 personnel, one running back, no tight ends. And if you do that, like we've seen at times, that just means Andre Yosevash is on the field or Trent Irwin's on the field or when Charlie Jones comes back, he's on the field. And I think they'll do some of that. But you also want to see if you can get a bit more out of the tight ends you have. And Tanner Hudson has obviously earned the trust of Burrow uh, to a degree. I think Burrow trusts him just by all accounts. And the other part of this, Zach Taylor said he was really impressed with Hudson the moment he got to Cincinnati last year when he signed with the Bengals practice squad. He was obviously impressive throughout the preseason. He was on my final 53-man roster. I, sh I thought he should have made the final cut to begin with. And he was productive in the couple of games with the limited opportunities, but in the couple of games he played when Irv Smith Jr. was out. So this is a big question mark, certainly, 
the tight end position, what they've gotten or what they haven't gotten through the first seven games of the year. And so maybe Tanner can help solve some of that. And not that it's going to become their best position or a position of strength, but maybe not as much of a weakness. And certainly getting some production out of that room would be pretty awesome, uh, especially where they're at right now. Make sure you check out RivertownInquiry.com. Yes, Rivertown Inquiry. This video brought to you by Rivertown Inquiry. Two different locations here in Cincinnati. So if you're coming in for the, for the Sunday night game, you're coming in Friday, you're coming in Saturday, check out Rivertown Inquiry. Maybe you want to go to their downtown location because you're staying downtown. Well, it's in Finley Market. So whether you want to take the streetcar, you want to Uber, you want to walk up, you can walk up to Finley Market if you're staying on the banks and check out Doug and his team. You can get orange and black gear for Sunday. You could certainly check out our CBT rope hat, our CBT dad hat. There's plenty of merchandise. Maybe you want to get the Tiger Rocks shot glass or, or, or excuse me whiskey glass that I well I had some bourbon in it on Halloween so just so you know that's my go-to when I have uh, a bourbon uh, on, on the rocks or neat you got to go with the Tiger Rocks glass so check them out if you can't in person check them out at rivertowninquiry.com their other location is in Oakley about 15 minutes or so from where I'm at right now at Paycor Stadium that's going to do it. Make sure you check out our Best of Joe Burrow, all of our other videos that we posted from the locker room on Wednesday. And until next time, for Andrew Fox Miller, our channel coordinator, I'm James Erpine, signing off for now on CBT, Cincinnati Bengals Talk.